and as we honor them, two Booker T. Washington High School graduates inducted into the Oklahoma Military Hall of Fame. The ceremony filled with family and friends honoring the service of Brigadier General Roscoe Cartwright and Specialist Fourth Class Joe Thomas. Two News Oklahoma's Naomi Kitt looks into the hero's legacy tonight. The Alice Walker Woods Memorial shows prominent men and women who graduated from Booker T. Washington High School. The family of Brigadier General Roscoe Cartwright tells me it's a lasting reminder of his 33 years of service to our country. It was a family affair for the Cartwrights this Veterans Day as they gathered around to look at photos, talk, and remember the lasting impact and legacy of Brigadier General Roscoe Cartwright. He loved his community. He loved where he was from. He loved his people. And for him, he was just a Tulsa, Oklahoman. Bridget Cartwright Jones is his granddaughter. I met her and other family members Thursday afternoon. Just a few hours before Cartwright and Specialist Fourth Class Joe Thomas were inducted into the Oklahoma Military Hall of Fame. For General Cartwright's family, they say he was larger than life, a man with an infectious laugh who helped any and everyone he could. And he was dedicated to his job. He was dedicated to duty. He was dedicated to uh, commitment and professionalism. From a little boy in Tulsa, Oklahoma, like you can see in this photo, to the countless medals and honors he was awarded for his service in World War II in Vietnam, family members tell me he lived to make sure others could achieve. And every time that he got promoted, um, he took that as a, the next level as a challenge. And how far can I go, you know, in this career? But more importantly, how many people can I help? Also achieve the same thing. Cartwright was one of the first black brigadier generals in the integrated U.S. Army. His family tells me his legacy continues through the Rocks Incorporated. That's a mentoring group that he helped start. It was named after him after he passed away in a plane crash shortly after he retired from the military. Reporting in Tulsa, I'm Naomi Kitt, 2 News, Oklahoma.